Okay, now we're ready for the stage when we're going to apply colors. And uh, color, we're applying colors exactly how we determine them by puzzles. And I usually start, like to start from lighter color, color and go to the darkest one. So just one more time remi remind you when we had our uh, rules we define that we have one color very light then medium tone then darker one our shade also we apply everywhere we, we where we see those color and then we have uh, darker, the darkest dark I would call it. Okay. Demonstrate you now how to do it. Usually I put my source somewhere so I can uh, constantly look at uh, my picture and compare where I apply and where I need what color and just always compare what you're doing. Okay, so we decide we will start from lightest and go middle tone and darker one, okay? So I just noticed that I missed one shade of here line, so I will just fix it quick because then it will be easy for me to determine where I'm supposed to change colors. So right over here, this shade. Okay, perfect. So I use my flat sable, uh, synthetic sable brush. And I will start from uh, lightest part, one zero. It's yellow light with white. So I load it, paint on one side usually, and then I go this way. And very nice. I don't go when I see different colors, so just exactly like you color some puzzles. So and I wipe the excess of this color. I just don't like have a lot of paint on my brush. So and then I keep going like that. okay okay so next we're moving to from lightest color to yellow golden yellow so our second color which is a little bit more darker than our lighter light okay so okay let's move on number one rule that I keep repeating to all my students you move to different color Wipe the excess of your paint, of the paint from the brush. So perfect. Now our brush ready for next color. Next color is yellow, golden yellow color. So I will load my brush with golden yellow and I apply when I see it's number one color on our palette. So I apply it when I see it. So I apply it right over here. It's how it's exactly where all our color map kind of uh, and uh, all our outlines for shadows very handy. 
because when you start applying all those colors, it's so confusing. You're like, what? Where I should apply what color? Now you can see where. Okay, so I love oils. Perfect. I like how it's blended. So, but you don't blend anything now. We will do it later. For now, we just color in our map. I would call it. Okay. So, with our number one color. So, number one here. And according to my map, it's here to gold kind of yellow color okay so now we are lucky because i accidentally put my number one color yellow gold on a pattern where it's supposed to be lighter so what i'm doing now which i it's for what i like painting with oils i take my piece of uh, cloth or you can use paper towel and just wipe it to fix because it's still wet and you wipe it perfect okay so actually right here small island it's like geometrical shape it should supposed to be yellow light like this and that's I wipe the dark yellow from my brush and I loaded my brush with yellow light and I apply it here right here and adjust again it just like we de define colors basic but when it's dry we're going back to our yellow rose and work more on it okay so let's check so where we have more yellow like that over here and I, very carefully I apply my yellow where it's supposed to be wiping your brush you don't want if you have more than three colors on your brush because some people who ignore it don't wipe the brush they have ugly duty mud instead of colors okay so okay let's see let's check where else we have to put some more number one and I don't see if so far and that's not a big deal because we always can come back and add more if we need okay. so now I want to show you something because we're painting rolls wet on wet and when you paint uh, wet on wet technique it's what you're learning today it's so cool because you can make very soft blend of colors and over here it's our original so you can see this shade of darker one you can see that shadow has very it's called uh, hard edge so it's straight very determined line contrast between darker and tone lighter but over here the, our lightest yellow and gold yellow they blended very soft like very soft edge it's called and you can also see how this petal rose petal have this kind of like uh, diagonal a little bit of uh, outlines it's what we're going to do now but now again very important you have to have clean brush and I don't really ever clean with some spirit, spiritus or whatever else I just know that my brush is still okay clean and I will do like this I bring a little bit dark on the light and I, a couple times let's go more okay and you can do opposite even so If 
you feel that it's not comfortable for you yet, just leave it like it is because you can do it. When it's dry, you can just add more light color above the dark one. So, but you touch very softly when you blend, make the soft edge. Basically, like a butterfly touch, okay? So it's good enough for now. 